What's up guys, it is your girl Diane Isom, your ultimate HBCU tour guide, and this is Camp Valid. We are in my city today, the Southern University. I am so, so excited to bring you guys along, show you guys all the things we do, how we get down, and also give you insight on why I chose to spend my four years here. So if you're ready and prepared, let's get it. I'm giving y'all some real tea and inside scoop when it comes to D9 organizations. There are always fraternities and sororities doing events. I am so excited to show y'all the plot. What are you doing? I was just headed from the plot. Oh what my gosh, you? you're headed from the plot. Yeah, I'm right. literally about to go there right now. We're doing like an episode of Camp Valid. You think okay, you can show okay. us some stuff? Yeah, I can show y'all something. Else. Awesome, y'all. This is my best friend. He just happens to be a Kappa. Literally the perfect person to give us some info about D9 organizations and why they hold so much weight at Southern University. All right, so this is our plot, of course. I'm part of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, the Alpha Sigma chapter. So everything you see here is painted by our NEOs or a member of our fraternity. Our tailgate season goes crazy every year. As you can see, they still ain't finished cleaning everything, go, and it's just, a good experience. That's it is, say, it is. Y'all, the tailgates are literally so fun. There's food, there's drinks, everybody's having a great time. I have a question. Tell us about Pretty Wednesday, because y'all would be running that, okay? All right, so Pretty Wednesday, it, uh, it basically started here at the HBCU, kind of like for students to get together and like network as far as to like expand their careers and everything. And so as times kind of got a little easier for like black people, that the need to like network and stuff is not as much. So what we use it now is like for the Greeks to come out, organizations from the school, mm -hmm. everybody get fly. The fly everyone. Everyone. Couple good things about having a front house so close right here by campus is you don't have to pay for parking to okay. park on campus. Most of the brothers park over here. Okay. So any time of the day, if you ever at the Kappa house, you could just go in and just see people always out here and things like mm -hmm. that. We're at one of the littest hot spots on campus, yes, and I know what my people want. I know what y'all want, and they want to see some strolling. So can you give us some action, you think? All right, so yeah, I got a couple of my Neos behind me. I'm trying to get them together to see what we can do for you guys. All right, go watch, y'all. Thank you for bringing us. Now we have to show other lit situations. We're about to go to Mudford Stadium. That's where we have tailgates, football games, and even where the infamous human jukebox and dancing dolls perform. All right, thank y'all for having say, us. Somebody say, man, hey, y'all, let's go over to the stadium. I'm gonna take y'all personally. We're gonna do this right. Here. Wait, you in the jukebox? Oh, you gotta come with me. Oh, I know, that's right. See, that's very valid. Let's go, I'm gonna see y'all. Y'all, I got my boy Braylon here with me. As y'all just saw, he was strolling. Of course, he's a part of the human jukebox. He does it literally all. This stadium is humongous. Tell us about how it feels to experience this and experience every single eye watching you as you're out. Man, when I look at it, it's like electricity goes through my body as soon as I step onto the track. When you think about it, it's like war and thunder when you're when you getting on the field. You just mm -hmm. get ready to do what you, you've been practicing all week. Right. You practice 8, 10, 12 hours a day. Really? Just for a seven-minute show. So wow. when you see all the fans and hear all the yelling and noise, it, it fires us up, and we're just ready to get it done. Tell us how you get a part of the Human Jukebox. So to be a part of the Human Jukebox, you just have to be curious enough to, to expound on some music. And okay. once you learn how to play music, you go through your audition, and then once you finish with your audition, if you make it through, then you'll be able to start your process to become a human jukebox member. I see. Is it like a, is it only like a one-day audition, or is it a process where you guys do callbacks or anything of that nature? Oh no, it's just a one-day pro, the one-day audition, and mm -hmm. you you do your audition, and after that you get a callback in the summertime, and after that you find out when band camp is. And oh, then, tell us about band camp. Band camp is boot camp. <laughs> so you you're a kappa, mm -hmm. human jukebox. Correct. You play five different instruments. That's right. Okay, I love that. Now I'm interested in knowing the dancing part of your guys's halftime show. Do you like that at all? What that, what's funny is I'm actually the person that no. that helps make the choreography for the dance. Really? It's me and a couple other band members. We all brainstorm mm -hmm. a whole lot weeks in advance, and we plan out the dances, and we teach the band. And after that, 
what you see is on the field is, is what we produce. I love that. Cause I, I saw, did you make up the um the stuff, you know, the TikTok thing where it's the don't know why, actually, okay? That was one of our band members, our previous band members. He created that dance, actually. And that's why it went that's viral wop, on TikTok. Wop, the Wop Wop dance. And he made that. He made that. And that he's from Southern, right? He's from Southern. He came in a human jukebox. He marched to it. Now, what's some of your guys' accolades? Where have you guys been? What have you guys done? Because I heard that you guys are number one in the country, the nation, the world. Tell me. Yeah, hey, with that, we went a lot of places. We've been to Pasadena, California. We've played in the All-Star Game at the Utah Jazz Stadium. Oh, wow. We've done things with Lizzo, Fantasia, J. Cole. Being in the band is really uh, an eye-opening experience as somebody that comes from Baton Rouge mm -hmm. because you get to see a lot of the world that you never knew existed. If you're not going here, come here to experience the Mufford Stadium, the Human Jukebox, even the Dancing Dolls. And if you graduated, come back because we want to see y'all. What is better, Empire or Blue Store? Ah, uh, Blue Store. Right between Blue Store and Empire, what would it be? Empire. Blue Empire. Blue store. Empire. Blue store. Blue store. Okay, why Blue Store? Why Blue Store? It's better. better. Empire. Why Empire? Empire. Empire. Empire because it's so great. good. Yeah. Empire is better than Blue Empire. Store. Uh, Blue Store. And why? I don't know. You get like three pieces of chicken and then like so like two sides uh -huh. and stuff like that. And it only be like eight dollars. Blue, Blue Store. store. Okay. <laughs> why? Because Empire Wings, first of all, they wings too be little. this big, <laughs> like, no. And Blue Store, like, it's, it's always hot for some reason. I don't know what type of incubator they got back there, but it's always hot. This is one of my spots. I love their chicken, so I'm so excited to try it out for y'all and give y'all some insight on why it's the best chicken on campus at Southern University. So come see. Let's get all tea. Okay, so it's called the Blue Store, obviously, because it's blue. But one thing I love about this is that it's actually a gas station. And you know that the best food comes from a hole in the wall, okay? So come in and look inside. So let me tell y'all what I get, okay? I get a plate, I get two wings, I get um, fried rice, extra soy sauce, okay? I also get some hot sauce for my wings. You get two rolls on top of it, or you can get an egg roll. And I always pick up some snacks. These, let me show y'all. Sometimes I'll get a bag of chips, but I will always, always, always get these grandma's vanilla cookies. They're so good after that fried chicken. It's just chef's kiss. So of course I said, I'm going to get a lunch plate. Why not? So you're going to get three piece wing. I always get the shrimp fried rice, but I know people who get the fries too, but the shrimp fried rice is just Thank you. Now we wait. And the good thing about this is that it's only a three minute wait. You literally do not have to wait at all. You come up here, you're in between classes, anything, come and get your chicken and leave, okay? It's no wait time. All right, y'all, so I got my food. Now, let me give y'all some insight. They do not have seating. Usually I'll go to campus and eat my food there, but of course I have to try it on camera. So y'all eat first. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you have not tried Blue Store, this is the place to be. It is so, so valid, but honestly, all of Southern University's campus is so valid. All right, y'all, I am in the student union. I'm so excited. I'm meeting up with my girl, Kara, and let's see where she is. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, y'all, this is my girl, Kara. She is an SGA. She does a lot of content creating. I mean, she is literally that girl. I am so excited to have you with me today. Yes, we're excited to be here. So we're in the student union, of course, and I think that we should start with some of the new foods that we have around here, yeah? Yeah, we should. Okay, let's go. Of course, we have a Chick-fil-A. Gotta have a Chick-fil-A. Chick so we could use our flex towards Chick-fil-A, can't we? Yeah, we so you, we all get flex, basically, and anybody who is on campus, even commuters, can also get flex where you get, it's like free money. We've talked about it before. You can use it at our Chick-fil-A. Um, we have other things as well. We just got a Cajun cowboy. That's going to have all types of Southern food. Speaking of things that we have on Southern's campus, we should check out the bowling alley. Oh my gosh, the bowling alley. Those were my freshman and sophomore days. I cannot wait. <laughs> You are not bad! 
that? Oh, that's huge. This one. Ready? Ooh. Mm -mm. On the first try, come on now. A strike on the first try. I had so much fun. Thank you for showing me around. I love it. We have a few more things to do, but I'm going to catch up with you later, girl. Bye. See you later. See you. We're here at Spanky's, and if you don't know, now you do. This is dear to me. It is a great spot for Southern University students, but also LSU students. It allows us to come together, have a great, great time, and this is honestly one of the littest spots that I've been to. So if you want to come see, let's go. What I also love about Spanky's is the ambiance. It is a mix between lounge and parties. After events on campus, we would come out here, have a great time, there's music, everybody's talking and bonding, and of course, the drinks are great. I am so excited and so happy that I got to share this with y'all, but I'm so overly joyed that I got to share my campus with you all from going to the student union, meeting up with my girl Kara, meeting up with Keenan, seeing the plot, the strolling, the human jukebox. I mean, the list goes on, so on on and off campus Southern University, I am stamping our campus valid. See you later. Bye.